Welcome back to my channel folks, you guys already know I am here to talk about this game. I really really wanted to win, I really wanted to win this game, but what can we say, at least we didn't lose, right? At one point I thought we did, you know, them scoring that goal and, you know, that goal and going, going ahead was just crazy to me and I was like, here we go again, another season where Arsenal just killed us, you know? I'll never forget that 5-0, I'll never forget that, you know, 4-2, you know, we I think the last couple of games they've just been dominating us you know so drawing and getting closer to them and all of that i hear people saying that arsenal is still in the title race but i'm saying to myself if we're above them and they're still in the title race that means we're in the title race but i'm not that naive to just get out get out get ahead of myself and believe that we're up for something that we're currently not i think that arsenal they're not in the title race let's, let's just be honest there's too much inconsistency I think for the entire season, that's their best team that they've started. And they still couldn't beat us, right? I get their away, but they're five to six, almost six years in their project. They should be beating us. We have a new manager, young squad, new players, all of that. Like since Arteta came to Chelsea, came to Arsenal, can you name how many of those players that used to play for Chelsea that still remain? I guess probably the only player that might, I'm not even sure if it's Reese James or, or, but there's, there's none. There's none of those players who are still within that Chelsea team. All of them left. It's a new squad, totally overhauled, and they still couldn't beat us. I know we spent a lot of money, so we should be there and about, but they've been so far in their, in their project, and they spent a lot of money too. The thing is, Arsenal is not as strong as they think. I'm not sure they can win the league. If they win the league, then I'm surprised. I don't want them to win the league. I think Manchester City is eventually going to get it right. You know, Pep is going to come up with a formula because it's history. Everybody knows it's around this time that Manchester City drops off and then they just make a quick run to the end of the season and end up winning, right? Liverpool, they're just one injury away from everything going to itself. To me, that is. Anything could happen. They might, you know, go all the way and win the thing, but still, I still have Manchester City as a favorite despite them losing so much games. It would be lovely if we if we place above Arsenal this season, that would be perfect. Like just to look at them and just be like, see, all this that you guys talking about winning the league, winning the league, coming second, you still can't place above Chelsea. I see a lot of growth in the team, still some question marks. I don't think the goalkeeper should have been beaten like that at near post. Don't like that. The same thing with the Havertz goal, even though it was a half side, half side goal, and he celebrated. At first he was like, but he then he celebrated and no, I had no hard feelings towards Harvard prior to this game, but now go 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 chuck off a cliff, Harvard, for all I care. I I he could he could just he's a full Arsenal player now. I like erase all your Chelsea memory. I'll never want to hear Harvard mention that Chelsea ever again. Apart from that one goal he scored in the Champions League. We'll never forget that. But whatever. He's an Arsenal player now. There's no ties between him and Chelsea. He's not an agent. Or maybe he is. Who knows? There's a lot of questions still in our team. Mud Wakey, should he be in the A team? Or should he be in the B team? I'd like to say he should be in the B team at this point because he's been missing sitters. He doesn't offer anything else than, you know, that right attack and cut in sometimes and kick the shot and sometimes he missed. Hardly ever scores, right? Modric, Modric, he, Modric is improving. Why don't we play him, right? You see that Pejaneta is be better on the right. Play Mod Modric, he's improving. He's knocking on the door. You know, some good games in, some good games here and there. He's definitely improving. Cole Palmer needs to be rested at some point, right? He needs to like be dragged off the field at maybe halftime or 60 minutes in and give somebody else a chance. Like he needs to know that if you if you're not performing every week, you can't play every week. Like there's so many games now that Cole Palmer is totally missing. And what are we gonna do? Like we're just gonna sit there and just do nothing. This guy is missing in too many games. And it's about time that we do something about it. And he needs to be sat on the bench for a minute to know that hey, you need to you need to come good, right? I believe believe Joe Felix could play in that role and then Kuku could play in that role rotate them out a little bit let him know that you need to be performing to be staying in the team if it goes for one set of player it has to go for the other set of player 
right? I think Caicedo is finally becoming becoming that player that we paid for. Latvia, I know there's a massive talent there. Still expecting him to come better than he is right now. Howell, still so iffy about that guy, man. I was surprised to see him not start Reese James. I asked for him not to start Reese James, but this pro got the start. Reese James came on, so you know, offered something quite similar but different. You know, different stature, different directness. But at the end of the day, I still want to see my boy Chilwell play. Like when is Chilwell ever gonna get a look into? the team all in all it's a good result a draw going into the international break is not such a bad thing right we could do with a draw you know it could have been a loss and then we go in the international break looking all dumb we could come back you know regroup see what we're missing see what's not working and just readjust i do believe we should be playing that three that three in the back with two wing backs two midfield you know and a two one so two center forward or two attacking mid and a striker that's the position that's the formation i think we should be playing but they're not gonna play so we'll just take it from there what can we do just take it from there tell me what you guys think should we have won that game are you satisfied with the draw leave your comments down below like share subscribe i'll see you guys soon